Well, let's see how good the uh, live stream keep getting kicked off the internet. See how good the live stream streams. Awesome. <laughs> see how good the live stream. Having problems with net. No. Net tonight. Let me know how live stream looks slash sounds. No frogs out tonight. What's going on, guys? Late one, even for uh, we got drink check. Mountain Dew. Woo! Where's that kryptonite? Midnight in Talladega. Nice. I need a trim. <laughs> the hell is that? All right. We got, see if we can get a few more in here before I get them. One of my early die cast holes, I pulled this. Remember what it was? Still can't pull that. It's not a super. Give you a hint. Everybody from uh, getting booted off? More than likely. Technical difficulties. Participants. Looks like you guys are still here. What's the best car I have? <laughs> I've never, I haven't shown it. I need to show it. I got it a couple of years ago. I'll save that one for, for a video. Uh, I definitely know which one it is. If you're talking in terms of monetary value, I keep staying on here. Come on, dude. No. One of my favorite cars. I can't get to it right now. One of my favorite cars. The Digaba system. One of my favorite cars is uh, Ford uh, Ford Torino Treasure Hunt, the green one, um, dark green with a seat, model like a NASCAR stock car. That's probably still my favorite one, though. Even though Dodge Charger is my favorite car. Come on, man. I don't know why this, this is annoying. It's got this screen up here. If I do that, I do that. All right, how many we got in here? We got JJ and Justin's Dirt Track channel. I don't know why that comes up on there, though. Oops. I did that either. Huh. Takes you to that. That's interesting. You just click off that. Restore shit. Nah, it still comes up. Oh well. Five bucks. This is what I got to show for right here. I think I did well. It was packed though. It's a pretty popular flea market here in Northern California. Central California, Northern Central, whatever. It's a popular one with uh, spring break and all that stuff. It was packed and I got there late. It runs from 7 to 2. I didn't get there until 12.30, 12.45. There's still people walking in like me. Got a tow truck for the new track I'm working on. Sweet. Yeah, cool video, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm blown away between the videos, the quality you're doing the videos, and then the quality of your product. So, uh, got I saw your uh, your uh, three wide three lane is up for sale. If you guys haven't seen that already, go check out 3dbotmaker.com. It's awesome. You race diecast 
whether you do it on YouTube or on your own. Especially, and it connects just a regular orange track too, but especially if you have the fat black track. <laughs> Sick. It's fun. I think I picked up. I pick up. No, I didn't pick up the truck. Um, Nick Deaver sent me one though. Pretty cool. And I usually hit up the vintage thrift store. Um, I don't know, maybe once every two, three months, I'll go over there, depending on what it's like after I get off work. You just got a new sub. If you're meaning 3D bot maker, you did the right thing there, Justin's Dirt Track channel. Awesome videos. Looking forward to seeing what else he comes up with. Not only in terms of videos, but product as well. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm going to make a, a regular video on this too, I'm sure. But uh, we're going to pick these out randomly. I'm not going to... I don't remember what I got every single piece for. Most of them, they're trying to sell for 50 cents. And I didn't just walk away with one. I Copo Corvette, 69 Copo Corvette Stingray. Pretty clean. Got flea bite on there on the roof, but other than that, not bad. Looks like he'll be a pretty decent roller. So everything this this bag and that other bag down there. Thanks, John Miller. We're up to six hundred, and we got uh, uh, something to go along the lines of that. This one's sick. I have never seen this one before. I meant to look it up. Never got around to it. Uh, metal body and a very, it looks very brittle <laughs> plastic base. Fire tender. Don't know if it's going to pick it up or not. No. Fire tender. I've never seen this fire truck before. Not to say that it's rare or anything. I just have never seen it. Actually, this is the only booth that I picked up just one car. This is the only one I wanted. It's a good thing I went. Uh, there's probably a good six, seven long, long ass rows, too, of the flea market. I went through it at least twice. Good thing I went through. Looking far, I haven't seen that either. Kyle Newton's in the house, too. Welcome aboard, guys. I had never seen that one. I'll have to look it up. And then on this side, we got ladder controls, tools, hoses, paramedic, and cardiac unit down yonder. Picking today, sadly, there aren't that many places to go in my area. Uh, that makes it hard. I mean... Not, I don't mean to be Captain Obvious, but that definitely makes it hard. Um, luckily, where I'm at, my favorite thrift store closed down. Ironically enough, I was going last week to Toys R Us one last time. On the way, I was going to hit up one of my best thrift store, go-to thrift stores. Didn't realize, and apparently, you know, I try to go like once a week or once every two weeks. I hadn't been in a month, and it closed down by the time I, last time I was there, fortunately. Almost identical, just a bigger base than their NASCAR ones from the mid 90s. And unfortunately, this thing is wonder if WD 40 get it going again. It rolls when it wants to, it turns when it wants to. Or the orange piece of every time I set it down, I don't know where I put it. It's like Sanford and Son in here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, send a package there. Oh, sweet. Nice. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this sorry Tammy Joe, but maybe if I can get that I gotta get that driver's side front we're going. Dang. Sick truck. I like it. Actual craftsman. These are hard to find, and that's why uh I want to do a truck series and even though this is a Hot Wheels and maybe not it's you can see it's similar. Similar to what used to be the Craftsman Truck Series, now whatever it was, Camping World Truck Series. It's similar, but since these are so stinking hard to find right here, you know, I'm gonna allow as long as basically as long as it has a number, I'm gonna allow it. It's 
to the truck series. I don't have a timetable for when that needs to be in or when it's going to start, but it'll happen. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't seen this one before, but this could be a developmental driver in the NOS series. Uh, we got the 07 Ford racing car. Must be a Taurus. It doesn't say, but it should be. Oh, seven. This is from Imperial. The butter? I don't think so. Whatever it is, Imperial 1998. Oh, seven. We got a. I don't know how well it rolls, though. In my little weak test strip there. Yeah, we'll see. Emperor Cuzco. <laughs> Let's see. Digging. I'm digging. Digging. Oh, yeah. Silverado. Big old wheel wells. This one actually has tail lights. No license plate, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. It's got tail lights. This one appears to have a little bit of rust action going on those on the wheels, but I don't know. Probably still be pretty fast. From Emperor's New Groove. Can't argue that. Next up. Oh, yeah. Yes, 07, right? Yep, 07 Chevy Tahoe. I don't remember this being a main line. Was this a five-pack release? I like that glow down there. Oh, yeah. He's got some giddy up. How do you live stream? Well, that's a good, that's a damn good question. I've had the darnest time um, over the last like several months trying to live stream, trying to figure it out other than having to do all this mumbo jumbo stuff on YouTube that have you do go to some second party thing and all that crap. Finally, under, uh, what do you go under? I forget which uh, setting it is. I think you go under live stream and now it has an option there. It says camera or live or something like that. You click on that and it's easy now. Or like I had been doing it on Instagram. I kind of like Instagram because a little bit more freedom. You can do whatever you want in there, play music and all that. Here you get copyright strikes and all that stuff. So no music. All right, next up. Oh, man, this was a – I got a good score here. I can tell you I started digging in this bag. I know this whole bag right here, I it should have been like seven seven fifty. I got it for 5 Favorite car of all time. The actual car, 69 Dodge Charger. Got that Spectra Flame paint. This isn't the best of rollers. I thought it would have been a little bit better than that. This is still with the hood opening, so this is that. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Couldn't pass it up for that price. Loose one. Definitely got its fair share of flea bites. The hood does open. Having a problem with his back. Oh, well, hell, no wonder it's all wound up with string. I'll have to work on that, and maybe if I can get that undone. Oh, yeah, right here. Check this out. Come on. If I can get that undone, we might have a misfit potential here. See, look at that. Yeah. 
I love the 69 as well, but I love the Daytona version better. Yeah, I like the Daytona version. Nothing wrong with that, especially if you can find it in a barn. Yep. <clears throat> I'm going to have to work on that because... No doubt some careless punk got this cut in here. Didn't realize these were $4 Hot Wheels at the time, no doubt. I'll have to work on that. If I can get that undone. Even this back one, though, is... It's like front wheel drive, and that's it. All right. Sweep that up later. Or not. I don't know. Next up. Oh, yeah. Love this guy. I got plans. I got plans for this guy. Got a write-up wherever he's working. 1972. I don't know why I'm showing it. If I do a, if I do a regular video on this, then maybe it'll, I'm sure the camera will pick it up then. So pretty cool find there. Seems to roll pretty good for a forklift. All right, next up, we got oh yeah, this is Crazy Eights. Does anybody know what series this one is from? Comment down below if you know what series this is from. A little disappointed, though, that uh, that rear wing is broke, but for the price. Yeah, this guy might... This guy might be pretty fast. Of course, he's got, let's see. One, two, three, four. Well, Crazy 8s, he's got uh, 16 cylinders. Dual engines. World race. Yes, Chef Squid. We got a winner. Yeah, show up on there. Hot Wheel 35. So... Those first four right there, plus whatever else I pull out of this bag, I got for five bucks. Next up, oh, hot ones. Chevy Citation. Hot ones. I never had, I had the white one when I was a kid. I'd never had this um, brown one. It rolls well. I should put this up against the Chevy Citation Dirty Deep set in. Oh, yeah. Good roller. I saw this one. I was like, yeah. The Chevy, Chevy Citation. Never had this brown one when I was a kid. I still don't. Race this against Dirty Deep Citation, the Johnny Lightning one. I bet you this one will kick its butt, no doubt. All right, moving along. Oh. Respect walk. What do you say? Yeah, it's got the tampos or decos all worn out. But we got the Tommaso Respect Walk. What do you say? Pantera. It's the Pantera. I don't think he'll fit on the six lane though. This is number eight matchbox super fast. 1975. I have one. Uh, the, the condition of the paint, decos, whatever is better, but this one is probably a better roller. However, he's, oh no, he's on there pretty tight. I don't know about that. I don't think he's going to fit. I remember that pop up. No. I'm going to have to come up with some sort of track for... And he rolls good, too. Do you have any Corvette? Put it on the fat track, yeah? Bet you this guy's pretty darn fast for being a 42-year-old car. All right, next up. Oh, 
yeah. I love the javelin. This one's a little rusty, but I did the boiler test on it. Yeah. The big boss system. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He can still roll. AMC javelin. Don't know if I have this green one or not. It's just like a it's like a metallic olive green color. Number four. AMC Javelin AMX. All right, next up. Oh yeah, this is the last one I saw. When I was going through the box, got a Z Wiz Dotson Z right here, and this was this must have been the. See, I have the green one from when I was a kid, and they had a chrome one. They had a few different colors, so I assume hmm, it's probably the chrome one. Chrome is gone. It's like a primer gray with some sort of remnants. I mean, this is right up Misfit Alley, but it rolls straight still. Bam. Bam. All right. Let's get the rest of this bag out so I know exactly what I meant. Oh, did you get any NASCAR? So, um, yeah, there's a few in here, but. So far, got this generic 07. Yeah, it is a Taurus. knew it was, but I was just looking for confirmation. And this truck that I need to see if I can work on to get rolling well. I knew it didn't roll very good when I picked it up, but for the price, it's worth a shot since they are hard to come by. All right. Next up. What year is this? 08 Dodge Challenger. I got plans for this one. Yeah, he rolls well. Next up. Hey, this car looks a little familiar. Maybe a different paint job. The axles, wheels are axles and not exactly straight, but not horrible. Who knows what car this is? Root beer. Pretty good roller. What do we got here? Nope. Does this look familiar? This casting to anybody? Here is a copyright on this. This is 98. That's right, because it was metal on metal. Yep, this is the... 70 Chevelle SS came out first edition 98. It was metal on metal. It is the number one seed in the March Madness tournament from Dirty D with the butter mitt finger. Yep, it's the Butterfinger car. You got it. So this one's got to be fast too. And Misfits uh, standards. All right, next up. And it's pruning today too. I'm beat. This is another one of my favorite castings, uh, fantasy castings. I don't know why. Just like it. Screamliner. Uh, you can find it possibly still in the stores. Uh, was a Christmas one in the main line. Oh, we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's got a... He's rolling on with a V12. I've never seen this one before, so I don't know. It's kind of a lime green. I like the flames on it. Might be hard to see with the lighting. Next up in that same bag. Dyna Wheels D12. Is this a this must be one of those Zilmex? Got 12 and missing, uh, I assume, the engine and windshield. 
apparently this is some sort of race car. This is called a Rebel uh, from Hong Kong. Jeez. It's in a sad state of affairs for this car, but... But look at this. Still still rolls. I don't know if you make it a quarter mile, but imagine the aerodynamics it would have. Yeah. This would be crazy. We shall see. Yeah, you, you straight shooter, straight roller on this guy. On that uh Um, streamliner. All right, I'm pretty sure. I'm not pretty, and I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is a Yatming Sunray van. Pretty sure. Doesn't say Yatming, but I don't know if any of them do or not. I don't remember. So, yeah, apparently whoever we got lime green, lime green, lime green, lime green. Sort of a theme going on here. There's an olive green. I don't know. Rolls pretty straight. We shall see. Okay, we got one more. Uh, Vulture. Anybody guess what series this is from? Not St. Patrick's Day anymore, people. Yeah. They're trying to unload all their St. Patrick's Day cards. World race. Yes, again. Road beasts. Highway 35. I remember Toys Out. And I want to say they were like uh, five bucks. It's like, no way am I going to pay five bucks for those. They've held their value fairly well. Speaking of five bucks, so I got I got the vulture. I shouldn't put them back in here. See how many I got total. Vulture. The Zelmex dude thing. Pretty sure this is a uh, Yatming Sunray van. Yeah, I'll check you out, man. Screamliner. I'll have to be after this is done, though. 70 Chevelle. Got the Dodge Challenger. Dotson 240Z. Got the Javelin, the Tommaso Pantera, probably my favorite one really out of this bunch, the Chevy Citation with the uh, Hot Ones wheels. Fortunately, the wing busted on this one, Crazy 8s. I didn't really see that when I, I would still would have bought it anyways for that price. Now I got forklift. Street creeper. And I got to work on this one still. 69 Dodge Charger. Uh, whatever series that was they had. 14 cars for five bucks on that one purchase. That I remember specifically. Let's put that over there for now. All right. Moving right along. Got plans for this guy too. We got the Happy Holidays limousine. The Digger Bus is the 
This reminds me of Argyle from, uh, I don't know why I see this limo. It reminds me of Argyle from Die Hard. I don't know why. Next up, got just this guy out. This is a Racer X streetcar. No year on here. Got to test that one out. Race him on the track. Next up, this guy needs no introduction. I don't know if I've raced one or not. I don't remember. But probably one of the more popular castings in recent time. Bam! Takes up the whole screen. Bam! Dairy delivery. Got the Circle Flame logo before... I'm sure well before that the Circle Flame logo meant that was a treasure hunt. This thing's a beast. Rolls good, too. <laughs> like to see what happens when this thing gets on. I'm pretty sure I've never raced one before. I like to see. <sighs> I like to see what happens. Get this thing on the six-lane raceway when it hits the transition portion from the downhill to the flat. Pop up. All right. This is the first place I stopped. Oh, great hole in the better. Oh, wait. We got another loose one in there. Oh, we got a couple. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm interested in seeing how this does right here. One of those motorcycles that will fit on the track, obviously. How will this guy do? Do you have a name? 2013? Nope. I don't see a name on it. Yeah, he might do he might do fairly well. And then we got Forty-three. This could be a developmental driver. Another forty-three developmental driver possibility. Lucky Charms. This is Hot Wheels. Lucky Charms forty-three. So I don't know if this was a serial promotion. Two thousand one Dodge Intrepid. Forty-three. Forty-three is forty-three. Doesn't need any help right now. Rico Singleman behind the wheel. I guarantee you. racing show when I was little. Yeah, I never really got into Speed Racer, but I was... They had it back in the 70s. Never really got into that. Alright. Some cool finds. This is the first place I stopped off at today. We'll start off with the... Uh, Pussycat Dragster. Not sure what was supposed to be on there. Can't tell. Got a panther, though, on the side. Random panther on this one. This is the uh, Pro Stock Firebird. Be cool to do a series on these. Just don't think it would... There's enough different ones, though. Next up. I do believe this is a Color changer, Blackwell color changer from the late 80s. Metal on metal. And all these 57 Chevys were, I won't say, I shouldn't say all of them, but the majority of them I've come across have been metal body plastic base. So I almost guarantee, in the looks of this, almost guarantee this is a color changer. Makes a heck of a lot of noise. One of those Red Panther cars. I thought it was weird. I believe it was bought in a five pack. Yeah, that's probably why I don't. I've never come across it before. A lot of the five packs. I don't buy too many five packs unless there's one or more castings I really want in there. 
Next up, this should be the um, Chevy Stalker. Do you believe? I've never come across this one before. Body feels like it would be a color changer, but I don't know. I want that net. Chevy Stalker. Next up. Oh, yeah. Hey, where's uh, the dirt track channel? Here's a commemorative 2013 car from Talladega. This is a developmental driver in the making in the NOS series. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Might do fairly well. Ford Fusion. What's up, Ethan Storm? Thirteen care. Nice. Next up. Oh, yeah, this one brings back some memories of the youth. I still have it. Fortunately, he's missing the horns on the hood. Anybody know what whose car this is and what series it's from? Comment down below. It's worth 5,000 bonus points. Good for nothing. Duke's a hazard. All right. We got that part. Who drove it? Pretty good condition, except for the horns missing. Boss Hog, we got Ertl. Yep, Ertl's the make. Boss Hog is the driver of it. Wheels are straight. It's just missing the horns, and it's got some flea bites on it. But other than that, the Dago bus system it's pretty nice. No rhyme or reason why I picked this up. I guess I kind of, kind of like it and might have some plans with it. Mayisto car. Does anybody know the name of this car right here from Mayisto? This kind of removing, <laughs> this kind of reminds me, for whatever reason, this car here reminds me of that movie that came out in the 70s, The Car. It's like if uh, the car from a Stephen King movie, Christine, had a boyfriend, it'd be this right here. Misfit. Nope, that's not the name of it. But it will be racing in it. I don't know why, but it seems like every time I buy loose cars, if they, most of them still pull one way, and they always seem to pull to the right. Anybody know the name of this Maisto? Have eluded me for the most part. Don't know much about them. Yeah, me neither. They do make some cool ones from time to time. The name of this one, Slayer. Pretty cool. All right, next up. Mm, this one pulls big time to the right. Big time, Holmes. Now that I kind of straightened out, yeah, they still pull. I used to hate these wheels when I was a kid. Got the Solaire. This is the CX4 Solaire. Matter of fact, I kind of really didn't care for the car when I was a kid either, but this is when I started getting too old for Hot Wheels. <laughs> Look at me now. 
I hated Ultra Huts. Could not stand the look of these wheels. Now I kind of like them, though. Huh? It brings me back to memories of being young when things were times were simple. But I used to hate these wheels. It's be the dumbest things I ever saw, and that's kind of probably what got me out of collecting that and getting too old. Nintendo stuff like that. No dig a bus system. All right. We got one more car. Whoa, this could be a developmental driver. Simply because it's got real riders. This is a Dodge Charger, but it doesn't have. I don't see the name on the roof. This is. Cars, just cars, the movie Valvoline. But since this is a Dodge Charger, this had to have been Scott Riggs, couldn't have been Johnny Benson. Benson was in it when it was in the uh, when it was Pontiac. Actually, no, this is come on, guys, help me out. This isn't this can't be Riggs either. Who is this? Is this Scott Riggs? So I thought it was, but it doesn't have, it does not have his name on the roof. Avatar Kailito Newt was going to drive. 2006. Huh. Well, doesn't have the name on there. So... By NOS standards, it could be a developmental driver. Ooh, came off the track. Might be a good one there. All right, let's keep these all in check here because I want to get a grand total at the end. What are we at here? We're at the 47 minute mark. What? Should be sleeping. All good though. Let's keep our DJ over here. It's a Hot Wheels release. Let's take a look. Sure as heck is. Disney Pixar. You see the Hot Wheels in the chassis there. Maybe, maybe not. Right there. Still don't know anything about this guy. Fire tender. Those have to be newer wheels, though. Hmm. The plot thickens. All right. For five buckaroos. Ooh, salvage. I don't know if I broke my laptop or. Timeless Toys Series 2. Well, I was going to open it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Actually bought it for that stupid Barbie. Barbie Corvette owns oh, sick. I mean, it's kind of hard to get a look at this one. So we got the Barbie. And then of course just the Hot Wheels. Ridiculous. Got the Fisher Price school bus. And then the Tyco RC dune buggy car back there not bad for five bucks that's the funniest thing i've ever seen in my life yeah that is that is great and it's real fun for me too yeah not too bad for five buckaroos dollar 25 a car you must have been handling <laughs> the butterfinger car too much yeah no doubt so 
Look, I can catch it. Touchdown. Oh, crap. Shouldn't have done that. Nope, they're all right. Hate the wheels on that Barbie one, though, that 10 spoke on the vet. But for five bucks, I didn't care really about the packaging because it's going to be Vicondios. They will be loose cars. Be sure to stick around at the end of this. I'm not going to do it tonight, but information on how you can be getting this Diora 2 to use for free in the next mail-in tournament. The next tournament, Daniel LaRusso. Says here I only have to fight in the championship, Miyagi. Sweet IndyCar looking right. America, you must have been. Oh, this guy? He's a Tyco RC. They're supposed to be modeled after uh, toys. So we got the Barbie vet, Hot Wheels. Um, what is that one? That's the four, 32 Ford. Fisher Price school bus and the Tyco RC car. These are pretty cool. To the best of my knowledge, they were never um, they were never sold in single pack, just the four pack right there. This is series two. I forget which were in series one and series three. Or how many they did uh, period. All right. That's done. That's done. No finito there. I like RC from Toy Story. Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, here's the other bag. Down here. There it is. Try to trick, trick with the doggy here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it at home. I'll put the doggy. You might see him. One, two. Whoa, and I caught it. No look. I drop a four pack, but I catch the dog flying in the air without even looking. That was sick. That was awesome. That was live too. That wasn't taped 400 times before you get it right. That was one take rhino right there. Can you dig it? Flying doggo. All right, we have a, I know there's some loose cars. There's some packed ones here. I know I got, I bought this one really for only a couple cars. I got these for 10 bucks. The Diggle Bot system, the Diggle Bot system. So let's just dig in here randomly. Oh, yeah. Formula 5000 black wall. El Bendo. Axel's a bent, but I don't know. Still might be a decent one. It's like, why they got it? Why they do away with this casting? This casting sick. Oh, look at that. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> Whatever you do, just don't ride like that. Ooh, look at that. Oy. Not good. Not good at all. No wonder. Part of that wheel that holds the axle in place is broke. Yeah, he's definitely been through some L Recos, that's for sure. Next up. This car is actually, I don't, a couple years ago, in package, this thing was ten, fifteen dollars. I don't know where it's at these days. This is low carbs. Supposed to be good for track. Is a uh, 3D bot maker still here? No. Oh. Great. Where the hell did that go? Oh. Man, oh, did roll good. Well, this is either it or a Black Widow. Let's see. Oh, 
Don't worry, folks. I got it. Low carbs. Only made a few of these. I know there's a yellow one as well. Kind of an inter interesting design. Three D bot maker is still in here. Ooh, that sounded weird. That hit. <laughs> Make my own drums. Cool noise. Next up. Hey, everybody. I can't stand Disney. Can't stand Disneyland. For some reason, I had to get this one. Apparently, it, be it belonged to Lizzie and Sons, Inc. Back in the day at some point. Copyright on here is... Uh, There is none. Hey, everybody. Is that Mickey Mouse? He keeps buying everything. Yep. That's old Mickey. Mickey Mouse. If he was a fireman. All right. Next up. Oh, yeah. How wide these things are. Why did they make them like that? Never understood that. They definitely learned the air of their ways and what they're releasing with their new stuff now. Very cool stuff they're coming out with. White flags out. One to go. And this bag. Boulevard Bruiser. I don't know if this is designed after... A real car? If not, they should make it, man. This thing's sick. Fire sheaf. Ooh, good roller. Look at the boiler test. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't like that one. Yeah, I don't know why I bought it. Basically got it for free, though, once I did my negotiations. All right. Now we're on. I got these three bags. They were $4 each. I said, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks for three of them. Is what we got left right here. Coming up on an hour already. Here's bag number one. I bought it specifically for that guy right there. Rip them open. This channel is awesome. Thanks, Justin Drinkard. First up, we got uh, 57 Chevy Ertl. Must be a UPS 57 Chevy. No doubt about it. Don't think it's going to be screaming down the track. But luckily for me, I did not buy it for this one at all. Didn't even realize it was in there. Let's go ahead and stack it on Boss Hog. Next up. No particular order. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is more like it. Once we get through all the... This is a Matchbox Super Fast number 34. Vanta Fantastic from 1975. Pretty sick. Pretty heavy, though. Might be able to make it up on the big end. Once it hits the downhill. Next up, we got
All right, let's get rid of this prick here. Peace out, Justin, you dip. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. I know this was in here. The Little Big Bird. No, uh, just made in China. No pullback, nothing. Don't know anything about it. Didn't even realize it was in it because, like I said, I had it was a one track mine when it came to this bag here. Ooh, crap. It was pretty good. But you never know until they get on the six lane raceway. Next up. Oh, crap. This is sick. Uh, hi, Raker. One of those three windows. Uh, not exactly what series this is from. I've never seen this one before. Oh, almost knocked over Mickey. Pretty sick. <laughs> That's a little bit off, but... See how this guy does too. Next up, ooh, that's a Mustang. It's a Mick. What do you guys think? Front end looks like a Mustang, but I'm not convinced it is. Reminds me of an <clears throat> early to mid '80s Mustang. No other markings on it. Uniborn. Enough of that. Hmm. It's in here. This current season, this current season that's been delayed about five months of the King of the Misfits, we haven't had a King of the Misfits heat winner. That was a Mick. Now this here, I mean, I don't think this is a Mick. What are those wheels? Is that Yatming? Is that? It's not a major. It's not a major. It's got to be a Yatming. But for this is a Yatming, and those wheels are different. Not sure, guys. Old well, though. He'll go over there. Must be a Thalion. Next up. Fatbacks. The Fatback. Which one is this? Well, this is manufactured from McDonald's. Didn't know they went that route. <laughs> Horrible. I think we got Kyle and Justin. Next up. First time. First time ever. I... We got the 33, whatever the heck this is. And 
Then we got, oh man, the heck is this? Missing, missing a wheel. Burning key cars, 1982. One of those you stick the key in, and I don't know if it's supposed to do something or I don't remember. Missing that rubber wheel on that side of it. Next up, boy, this is nasty. We got the Gold Stepper, number 15. We got this Gold Stepper. And then we got that Gold Stepper. This is the final run. Then we got that one. Appreciate it in my book than this thing. Last but not least, this is the white bought the bag, and I don't even know why I did it. Just like this car. Remember that. How well does this guy go? I don't remember him running top. He's funny. Bill, you guys have a problem uh, with the with the stream cutting in and out? And so there's another one. That's it. An hour and eleven mark. Here's a maze, though. It is uh, fantasy, isn't this one? Have the uh, what is it? Purple or green? Mix it up. So fast. And if you can get the axle straight on this, it is a pretty fast one. Don't have this one. Then we got Drift King. And one of my favorite... I know it's got to be based off something. Studebaker or something. But one of my favorite fantasy castings of all time. I believe this guy is fast on their latest video. Fast fish. be a fast one we'll see oh yeah i love this one you know ghost trigger being a florida here's the florida 69 dodge charger police car love this one first loose one i've got of this one got plans for this guy as long as Tricks. I 
Let me mark this one. Both sides. It's the 69 Pontiac GTO. It does have the judge on the back. Yeah, there you go. Should be this is from a five pack, I do believe. Oh, if I erased the little truck. Last but not least, we got this one here. Going all over the place. Now we're opening the wrong end. First up, look at this. Crazy moves. Anybody still in here? Everybody just getting booted out. Except we got 52. Bah. Anybody still in here? This is Zelmex Fire Engine P. And that's the Mercedes Benz C111. Video on it, anyways. All right, well, we get, we get this one coming up. So we get 650 subscribers. This D4 2 will uh, change in the house. Yeah, I'm going to get a live stream tonight. This is. 